We just got a brand new Don't Fret demo announcement trailer, and it looks incredible. This trailer does a great job at showing off just how dark and disturbing this game is going to be. I'm so glad they are really showing off the darker atmosphere of this game because it's going to be such a unique horror experience. So that being said, let's take a look at this trailer. I'm floating to the end of the end of the sea, pulling at my heartstrings to see what I see, and the soon keeps the changing my course rearranging, buried at the bottom underneath. It begins with a screen telling us this demo announcement has been approved for us by the Foundation and Conduct Tech, two companies that were teased in the previous trailer. Therefore, they will obviously play a huge role in the story. It also lists the amazing people working on the game and the demo's release date of October 14th. Following this, the trailer takes us inside a red room leading up to a door, with this unsettling flame effect appearing out of it. On the walls written in red is Remember the Frequency, and has arrows pointing to a keypad, meaning this door is probably very important. We then see text, and this paired with the previous reads, from the creator of Rocket Music comes a new breed of indie horror. This is something they have been really emphasizing, how Don't Fret will provide something new and refreshing within the indie horror scene. And from everything I've seen so far, I couldn't agree more. This game is going to mix both worlds of music and horror in all the best ways. A musically themed horror adventure is not something I have ever seen before, so I'm pretty excited. The trailer takes us deeper inside the location, and on the wall is what looks to be some kind of skeleton head that reminds me of a walrus. Not something you would typically see inside a school, but it's just a cool detail I wanted to point out. As the camera pans over, we see a clipboard. This is the same shot from one of these screenshots on the Steam store page, so we will actually be able to inspect this clipboard. Considering the Harmonic Heights logo, which is the school we are in where the game takes place, this clipboard might have information about the game's lore. I'm assuming a lot of this kind of stuff will be all throughout the game. The trailer continues as we pass the music theory room, and this is where the trailer's tone becomes much darker. When passing the door, we see a teacher without a face sit up while we hear every bone crack. But we will come back to this character later on. I'm floating to the end of the end of the Am I? Next, we see a tape head sign. This is actually from a damaged fortune teller like machine, as I'm not exactly sure what this is yet. But I point it out because the monster seen in the previous trailer is also named Tape Head. Now, this machine is similar to the conductor, so maybe this Tape Head monster escaped the machine and is now on the loose. Although, the Tape Head monster is massive, so maybe not. The trailer continues through the halls, and suddenly the music stops, and a mysterious creature runs by extremely fast, but I will talk about this character when we see them later on in the video. From here, Fret wakes up and hops out of his guitar case. You might have noticed Fret is in fact voiced by Jake Neutron. Now, I think this is part of the opening to the game. The devs have teased the very beginning of the game in a short video, but I don't know if I can show it. I may or may not have it on my Twitter. Either way, it's very similar to this. The trailer then quickly cuts to a room filled with missing persons posters. However, these are different from the missing fret posters we saw in the first trailer. This could mean that other kids are missing and we might have to save them as well. Considering the candles and flowers, I think something tragic definitely occurred. Following this, we get a few awesome atmospheric shots of the location and the halls of Harmonic Heights. Now, this game is going to feature a CD system where you can find CDs and play them from a jukebox. These CDs will include songs from many nerdcore artists. It will be a fun easter egg for the community. So this is one of those jukeboxes. Player number one. Hello, Fred. <laughs> Hello. I 
was wondering when you'd finally find time to pay me a visit. I guess there's no turning back now. Next, Fred drops a coin into the conductor's machine, and he's gotten a revamp since the last time we saw him. This character is going to play a big role in the game. My first thought was the conductor would be evil and the main villain of the story. I mean, the whole purpose of a conductor is to lead. But he recognized Fred and was wondering when Fred would find time to pay him a visit. I think this is going to be a character that more or less helps us throughout our time in Harmonic Heights. I say this because at one point in the trailer, the conductor mentions how the puppet master is pulling all of the strings and they are keeping us locked inside the school. Therefore, it seems the puppet master is actually to blame here. So anytime we find a coin, we will probably give it to the conductor and he will point us in the right direction. Something like that. Suddenly, a large monster makes its way into what looks to be the bathrooms. I have no idea what this thing could be. It has lips and a nose, but it also wears something over its face. It even has a blue stain on it. Again, I have no idea, what do you guys think this creature is? The trailer then cuts to the POV of something other than Fred, as it actually watches Fred walk by. Whatever this is, seems to be stalking Fred. There is also a poster of The Missing showing off an evil face. Again, I will talk about these more when we see them later in the trailer. The puppet master pulling the strings have locked you, their star pupil, inside the school. From here, we get a look at our inventory, and it looks so clean. We have our mission, strings we likely find to play the guitar, our items, batteries we will use for our light, and equipment. Now, this supply room key is for Miss Hull's classroom. Keep this in mind, the padlock key was found in the basement, a very creepy place, as you can see. But this key will be used to get upstairs, meaning this location is going to be huge. From here, we get a look at one of the puzzles in the game. This is a piano notes puzzle where we need to play the piano correctly. This also looks so clean and unique. It's another example of how this game will intertwine both music and horror. If we fail the music puzzle, I'm sure we will pay a twisted price. Next, we finally get to see what's been stalking Fret throughout the trailer. This is one of the missing from the poster we already saw. These look to be other students wearing music note sheets on their face. Or this is their face. There is also a voice that says, find him and bring him to my office. This voice is of who I think is Miss Hole, and she is referring to Fret. So, Miss Hole uses these music students to find Fret and bring him to her. This is why they have been stalking or chasing Fret. Find him and bring him to my office now. I don't believe you. I know he's here. Monster. Following this, we get to see a light that we'll be using to stun these students, and the effect looks so awesome. So it seems like throughout the game, we might be getting chased by these students. Now, we finally get a up-close look at Miss Hole. This is the person we saw at the beginning of the trailer. This teacher has a black hole for a face. I think the voice that I just talked about is coming from this teacher. Or maybe not, considering she doesn't even have a mouth. I'm glad to see that there are so many different characters in the game. It makes Harmonic Heights feel alive. Directly after, Tapehead emerges from this mysterious hole in the wall. I love the design of this character. It's simple yet so unsettling. The head of this monster is of an old cassette tape with the rest of its body having large human features, while its arms and legs are made up of what I think is the tape inside of the cassette tape. It's even wearing a dress. Maybe this is the Puppet Master, but who knows, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I want to point out one more thing about this trailer. At the end, we hear this female's voice. You're a monster. I think this could be the person in the missing person's posters from earlier. Like I said, this could be someone that we have to save. What did you guys think of this trailer? Are you excited for the demo? I love the darker tone here, and it makes me so excited to play the game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like horror game content like this, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to support the channel more, you can become a member. Don't forget to follow my Twitter at TerrifyT. Thanks for watching.